please subscribe, like, and click the notification bell. Hello, 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 and welcome to Storytime with a Grown Woman Swag, and the W is silent. So, I'm going to thank you in advance from the intro, and we're going to get started. Now, if you don't know, that was Lotto, Big Lotto, and she is, of course, a female rapper, and we know right now the female rappers are dominating the rap game right now. They like They are the ones that is putting out the music. And um, and they are very big influencers when it comes to women, young women, older women. They are influencing them. They are the influencers. And one thing I want to, and I stand on my stance about uh, using your early years to prepare for marriage and settling down instead of being out there in the streets trying to be independent. I still stand for that, but I love my rap. Yes, I am on my feminine journey. Yes, rap may not be feminine, but I love my rap. So this is one of the songs that kind of stay in my rotation. And I wanted to talk about it and I wanted to kind of let you guys know that if you're not fitting this, you need to humble yourself. Let's rewind that. If you're not fitting this, you need to humble yourself. So we can allow these songs to influence us. Yeah. But again, if you ain't, you're not living this life. Yeah. You need to humble. Because granted, like I always say, 20 years from now, She's going to have a different attitude. Yeah, they're having fun now. They're making a lot of money. And 20 years from now, she may still have her money. But she's going to have a different attitude. So, let's listen to some of the lyrics. Now, a lot of times I see people play in Cardi B's part. I happen to like Lotto's part. <laughs> and we're going to read over some of these lyrics. So, a lot of, of it, we know that it says, rip me out the plastic, I've been acting brand new. Bees acting like they run crap, they only ran through. I spend that 500 before I ever trap you. If you ain't spending money before, instead of trying to trap a guy, you need to humble yourself, okay? They thought I was going to fall off. I hate to bring you bad news. Through so many racks, they can't even see the floor. If you ain't throwing racks on the floor like that, you need to humble yourself. She talking about the strip club, just in case you don't know. So, if you ain't doing it like that, you need to humble yourself. From Atlanta to LA, the only time I'm back and forth. Cheap ends make you pick, rich ends get you both. If you ain't dealing with a man that gets you both, you need to humble yourself. <laughs> Gave the Bentley to the valet and let that drive the boat. Shh, be quiet, be quiet. Let me pop it off. If you ain't giving valet a Bentley and let him drive the boat, <laughs> you need to humble yourself. You need to humble yourself, okay? <laughs> Leave the club sloppy drunk. Come home and get my rocks off. Now, you're probably doing that. <laughs> But that don't qualify you. You still got to be humble. Her bees from the south. He trying to see me not see me knock his socks off. Told them bees meet me at the top. I think they got lost. If you ain't at the top, you one of those that got lost. So you need to humble yourself. <laughs> oh, I'm on I'm on go like this. She thought I would kiss her butt. She must ain't took her meds. Now, you might have a female like that. A hater. This don't qualify you. You still got to be humble, okay? Um, crap. And I'm trying not to curse because I'm working on my femininity. But, you know, if you know the song, if you don't, you need to listen to it. So then you'll know what I'm leaving out. 
it say it's around my neck it costs an arm and leg if you ain't got them around your neck that costs an arm and a leg that a dude bought you yeah you you, you need to humble yourself swear this is the part and that's this is the that's the stitch that i did swear that end is set for life i let him get me pregnant if you got pregnant and a dude ain't set for life you need to humble yourself <laughs> so ladies listen we can listen to this music we can you, but you can't let it influence you. You can't. You can't have this attitude if you're not doing it like this. If you're not doing it like this, you can't have this attitude. I mean, for real. Like, how many of y'all are out there setting dudes up because they got you pregnant? If you're not doing that. I need for you to be on my channel and I need for you to be humbling yourself, okay? Uh, <laughs> uh, I done done it all. Feel like shawty low. Laughing to the bank, but ain't not, not a joke. If you ain't laughing going to the bank, you need to humble yourself. You know, most of, well, we don't really go to the bank no more, but this is just a metaphor. We usually crying. <laughs> so if you ain't laughing going to the to the bank because you got that much, you, you need to humble yourself, okay? <laughs> Say she got a problem, imaginary smoke. Yeah, you got a hater. She got problems. She got a problem. She got imaginary smoke. That don't qualify you. You still need to humble yourself. Um, B said it's up then put it on the floor i done done it all i feel like shot it low laughing to the bank is not a joke so she's repeating that but at the end of the day ladies um we can't allow this music to influence us we are not these people it's it sound good you know you get it's got good beats yeah, the, the, the ladies are running the game, the rap game right now. They're making money. I can remember in my time, it was hard for female rappers because it was said to be too expensive to put their upkeep, you know. And But now they are killing it, and I got to give them credit for that. But again, I stand on what I say. 20 year, 15 to 20 years from now, she's going to be doing, hopefully she'll be doing something different. I, no, it's no hopefully. She will be doing things differently. She'll be feeling a different way. And a lot of the, this is just entertainment. Um, so I hear you ladies out there saying you don't have to bring nothing to the table. You are the table. You're not the table until you're doing it. Until you're setting the dude up because he got you pregnant. You, you're not the table. Okay? <laughs> if you're not laughing, going to the bank. You're not the table. If that round your neck didn't cost an arm and a leg, you're not the table. If you ain't putting racks on the floor to where you can't see the floor, you you are not the table. And you need to humble yourself. So, uh, shout out to Lotto, Cardi, uh, Meg. She ain't really put nothing out. Uh, Glow Real, like they are killing it. And again, I, I really enjoy my rap. These are some of, this is one of the songs that stay in my rotation. Ice Spice, like they are killing it. But we cannot allow this to influence us. And I saw this video on TikTok and I just had to say something about it. So let's talk about it. I mean, do you feel like it's okay to be influenced by these rappers or these young ladies and not be able to live up to what they're saying? So, is it okay to be influenced and treat men according to what's being said in the rap? And you're not on that level? Is that okay? Or is it not okay? Let's talk about it in the comments. And as always, thank you so much for watching Storytime with a Grown Woman. That swag and the W is silent. And if you did it from the intro, the middle, do it now. 
Help me grow my channel. Please like, share, comment, subscribe, hit that notification and all of that good stuff. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.